Well, hello, Hollister. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Oh, hey, yesterday you were going to have your first swimming lesson. How did that go? It didn't. It didn't? What do you mean it didn't? I never got in the water. You never got in the water? Why? I don't trust that swimming teacher. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, well, first she said that we were supposed to jump into the water and my dad was going to catch me. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, but, 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 but what if he wanted to play a trick on me and he let me just fall into the water and then go to the bottom and drown? Hollister, your dad wouldn't do that. What if, what if he, if I slipped out of his hands and I, and I fell to the bottom? Well, Hollister, I think you would have been okay. And then she, she gave me these, these donuts to put on my arms. Oh yeah, those things, they're supposed, they help you float. I didn't like them. Why? Why? Because they limited my mobility. I need to be in charge when I'm in the water. Hollister? What? You are very difficult. No, I'm not. I'm just careful. Hollister, what about just getting into the water using the ladder? I'm not going to use that rusty old thing. I don't think it's rusty. What if it broke and I fell in head first into the water and hit my head on the bottom of the pool and was knocked out cold and then I couldn't come up and I drowned? Eh. Hollister? What? I think you need to learn how to trust. What's that? Well, to trust means to rely on people, to believe that they're going to do the things that they say they're going to do. Did your dad tell you that he would catch you if you jumped in? Well, yeah. Well, why couldn't you trust him? I don't know. And didn't the teacher say that those, those floaty uh, donuts would hold you up? Well, yeah. Well, why didn't you trust her? I don't know. Well, you know what? There's a story in the Bible that I think is a good example of why we can trust. What's that? Well, it's, it's a story about Moses and the snakes. Do you remember that story? Oh yeah, I remember that one from preschool. You do? Yeah, yeah, how the snakes came slithering in and they were biting everybody. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well, I don't know if they were chomping. But yeah. And then and then and then Moses took a, a snake made out of metal and he hung it up on a pole in the middle of, of the whole place and whenever somebody got bit, they could look right at that snake and they would feel better. That's right. Now here's the question. Why did they feel better? I don't know. Because God promised they were trusting God's promise. And that's what real faith is. That's why we know we're going to heaven, because we trust God's promise that because Jesus lived and died on the cross for our sins, that we will be with him forever in heaven. That's trust. That's trust. That's faith. And that's something that God makes inside of us. He tells us his promises, and then he sends his Holy Spirit to convince us that his promises are true. You know what? What? I need to learn to trust. I think that that would be a really good idea, Alistair. <laughs>